This portion of Rocket Metal Revival is brought to you by... I invented my own kind of grass, too. Did you know that? Look at this. This is registered. Carl Spackler Bench. Oh, yeah. I've felt grass like this before. I've played on this. This is a hybrid. This is a cross. Uh, 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 bluegrass, Kentucky bluegrass uh, feather bed bent, and uh, Northern California sensimia. The amazing stuff about this is that you can play 36 holes on it in the afternoon, take it home and just get stoned in a bejesus belt that night on this stuff.
Hi, this is Stephen Piercy. Yeah, yeah, from Rack. Back for more, laying it down. You're listening to Red and Cherry Rock exactly. Metal Revival. There's Arcade and Screaming SOS. You recognize the lead vocalist in that band, brother? Was that St- Jizzy Steve- Pearl? Stephen Percy. It wasn't Jizzy? No. Oh. No. Really? I, I really Steven? dug yeah, yeah, that was cool. Stephen <laughs> Percy was... and uh, along with Freddie Curry. Sounded from... like the guy from Rad. That's who it was. You <laughs> smoke another one, goofball. All right. Uh, coming up, uh, we've got, I can't even remember, Donnie Hillier from the band Trauma. They've got a new album out called... Uh, Rapture and Wrath. We shouldn't record the show after 420, man. <laughs> no, not at all. Uh, Rapture and Wrath. And uh, I couldn't believe when you sent me the text today that they put us in our in their liner notes. Yeah, we're in the liner notes. I, I was reading through because I'd like to know who brought the songs yeah. and stuff. And yeah. So um, thank Chris Aiken and Classic yeah. Model Show. And then I read a little bit farther and it was Brad and Jerry in the Rock and Metal. Box. So if you ever want to get a repeat uh, yeah, appearance on this show. Yeah, if you ever want to get show, back on the show, you better put out an album and put us in the liner notes, notes and let right. us know about yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. He didn't let us know about it. We no, just we had to find it. out ourselves. Which is cool. Yeah. Big surprise. <laughs> yeah, it's like our birthdays, cool. yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, kicking it off, uh, we're going to play one off the new album, uh, Rapture and Wrath. This is called When I Die. It's Trauma on Rock and Metal Revival. And this is the ballad, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sonic Day! 
Brand new music from Trauma. It's called When I Die on Rock and Metal Revival. And, brother, that's from a brand new album called Rapture and Wrath. And I'm really digging it. I'm digging it too, man. I've been listening to it the last few days, just kicking my ass. All right. Well, we've got, nice. uh, we want to welcome back lead vocalist of uh, Trauma to the show, Donnie Hillier. Welcome to the show, Donnie. Thank you very much, Red and Sherry, and all the listeners at the Rock and Metal Revival show. It's good to be back on the show. Thank you very much. It's great to have you. Hey, Donnie, I want to know uh, right off the bat, how does it feel to have your first new album in 31 years? <laughs> uh, it felt long overdue. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, I think we talked in the past, uh, you know, the, how just time flew by, and uh, and... 
the musicians were all busy doing other projects and it just, you know, getting people in the same place at the same time uh, took way longer than you would ever imagine. Uh, but to answer your question, it feels great to have something out. Um, it was getting tiresome being known as a band that did one album back in the 80s. Um, and, of course, that was the reality of it. So uh, we, you know, got got together and with a new lineup and did the um, Rapture and Rap album. And now that that's out, um, we're starting to work on songs for yet another album. We want to keep going. Well, Def Leppard and Guns N' Roses got nothing on you with 31 years. <laughs> I know Boston too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, hey, we want to. I, I guess the question I want to do is now that uh, we find out, uh, hear these new songs of Rapture and Wrath. Uh, I was wondering, were those written in the last couple of years, or were those ones you had shelved back from the '80s, or was this all new writing? That's all new writing. Um, the, with the band has a new guitarist, Kurt Fry, and Kurt. Uh, those songs all started with with Kurt bringing either. You know, pretty pretty well developed songs or um, or riffs and chord progressions uh, to the band. Uh, in a few cases, uh, just Kurt and I worked up in advance and then um, showed the songs to the band. But they all started with Kurt, and uh, and then we put the songs together. But it, it it was all new material. So did it all come from like jamming together, or did you and no, Kurt I, work on the I, side? Yeah, I wouldn't say it was jamming so much as um, that. You know, every all those ideas had structure to them. You know, when Kurt brought them in, they would have they would have like you know maybe an intro or verses and a chorus, maybe a refrain. You know, so and then some of the songs built over over a short period of time, but but it wasn't jamming so much. Not really. Yeah. Hey, now, Donnie, do you see yourself fighting the label of Cliff Burton's band before Metallica, or do you embrace that part of your band's history? Oh, we embrace it. It's, uh, you know, uh, Kurt was, um, um, Cliff was a fantastic guy, um, and even even after he left Trauma, we were proud of him, and we remained friends, and uh, so, no, it, he, was, he was a great person, and I'm, I'm glad that I got to know him and be friends and play in a band with him. How hard was he to replace, though, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it was a it was a disappointment. Um, Lucas Advencula, um stepped in and replaced him, and he's he's a competent bass player, um, not the showman Cliff Cliff was. Um, and of course, you know, Cliff was the original bassist and and a longtime friend of, of the members of the band. So that wasn't quite quite the same kind of dynamic yeah. with Lucas, but um, it, it just was what had to be. Now tell us about the current lineup that you've got going of Trauma. Well, there's a lot of history among the members of the band. Um, Kurt Fry, the guitarist, uh, back in the 80s, I, I was in a band with him. In the 90s, he was in a band with the drummer Chris Gustafson. Um, in the 80s, Kurt was in a band with the new bass player, Steve Ribello. Uh So, you know, we, it's that kind of thing, you know, this kind of uh, um, almost like, you know, well, long-term associations. And, and we uh, had all these people in the right place at the right time to, to have a new lineup. Um, Steve, Steve was actually the guitarist in a band called Dublin Death Patrol. Uh, um, I'm not sure. Yeah, yep. I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, was Scott um, was, was Scott Ian in that or something? Or um, that was, was that with, they had two they had two singers and you guys know them both. It was uh, Steve Zetro Souza from Exodus and Chuck oh, Billy okay. from uh, Chuck Testament. Billy from Testament. Ah, that's yep. what I'm thinking of. Okay, that's what I'm thinking of. Yep, cool. and and so Steve grew up in Dublin, California, uh, with and with those guys. So they go a ways back. So. Yeah, so there's some history among the members of the new lineup. Now, he, from Donnie, from talking to a lot of the bands we have on the show, they say that the only way that they're making money anymore is from merch and touring. Uh, do you have any plans to tour in the U.S. Uh, US or Europe in the near future? Oh, we'd love to. Um, we don't have any immediate tour, uh, touring plans right now. 
um, that is what we would like to do and what we'd like to focus on, um, you know, putting together a, a team that can help us do that very thing. But that's true, yeah. But with, of course, you know, digital downloading and all that, it sucked the money out of the recording industry. Although, you know, vinyl, vinyl, as you know, is making a comeback. Oh, but, yeah, uh, yeah. But yeah, it it is uh, it is touring and merchandising. Is this available on vinyl? Because I'm I'm a vinyl it, dude now. It's going to be. Um, and I'm sorry, I've forgotten the date, but I I saw on the Pure Steel Records uh, website they had announced a date that the album would be out on vinyl. Oh, cool! I definitely get a copy of that. Yeah, oh, I, I love you. I love vinyl, man. Vinyl's cool. I uh, I gave away my turntable, so if I'm going to get back into it, I got to do something there. But, yeah, uh, yeah. I had to start all over. <laughs> I had to go get the yeah. No, I, I can there. imagine. I I didn't have any foresight on that. I didn't see that happening all over again. But. No, it's kind of cool though, man. I I like the sound of records. They just sound different. Now on this yeah. al- this album, you uh, got the. Uh, when, it sounds like a '80s. It sounds like this could have came out in the '80s. The way it sounds, is that what you guys were going for, sound-wise, production-wise? I think. Um, well, in part, that that was the engineer um, that we recorded with, and I don't. I don't know that we sat down and and said we're going to sound like that. Um, but it it did happen kind of organically with the mm. people involved. Yeah, it's cool. I like it. Now, are there any songs on the album you think could have benefited from uh, some cowbell? Because I think... Cause <laughs> well, I'm, you know, every song benefits from cowbell. Yeah, you, the whole album just, it's like, man, there, there's a couple songs there that are just begging for some cowbell. <laughs> but, Let's eh. see. Let's, I, I guess, uh, yeah, I guess A Long Way Home could use a cowbell. Yeah, hey. let's see. Yeah, that's what I thought. I was thinking that we could that could definitely happen. That would be good. Yep, yep. Hey, We're Don- thinking alike. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Donnie, you know, uh, if fans want to keep up uh, with with trauma and where where can they buy you know your your CDs and and keep up with the latest news on you guys? Um, well, we do have a website, and in fact, Chris, the drummer, just uh, called me this morning and said that the new website is up. I haven't seen it myself yet. I have. It's uh, cool. Okay, it's traumametal.com, and um, and so there's that. And then on Facebook, uh, we are Trauma USA, and um, those are two places. As far as where to buy the CD, it's it's kind of at, at all the um, usual suspects for outlets, uh, iTunes and Amazon and. There's, I've noticed there's quite a difference in price range depending on um, where you're shopping for it. There's a lot of foreign sites, of course, that, that have it. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, just uh, do your shopping, and uh, it's, it's there. I mean, there's just page after page of outlets that are offering it. Well, very cool. And then, and then like I said, if you're interested in vinyl, um, that, that will be out soon, and I'm I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the date. It was something in either April or May. Cool. But uh, Pure Steel, PureSteelRecords.com, um, they have an announcement for that. All right, we'll have cool. to get you a copy, yeah, brother. Definitely. All right, well, uh, we like to play another tune off the new CD called Rapture and Wrath. Uh, Red and Jerry give this two thumbs up and uh, go out and check it out. But the tune we're going to play here is called Egypt. Donnie, can you tell us a little bit about this one? Yeah, it's, a, it's kind of a political song, um, and, and so the lyrics are the lyrics really take you from the time of the the ancient gods, the sun god Ra from Egypt, and then and then you know uh, making the point lyrically that um, you know the people wanted to replace the god, and brings us to the turmoil in Egypt and that part of the world today, and. Um, yeah, it's just, you know, there's some there's some spiritual, religious, political meaning to the lyrics. All right, very cool. 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 Well, we're going to crank it up right now. Uh, Donna Hillier, thank you so much for coming on Rock and Metal Revival. Oh, thank you, Red and Jerry.
Michelangelo Badio, and you're listening to the Rock and Metal Revival. Yeah.
Everywhere I go, get a grip, you're acting so weird So weird I don't need your Jaeger bombs, I think I can take it from here There's Lizzie Hale and Hailstorm, and you call me a bitch like it's a bad thing on Rock and Metal Revival. And, uh, dude, we want to thank Donnie Hillier from Trauma for coming back on the show. He had the guts to come back twice. Yeah, he's he's got some got some guts, man. Yeah, Appreciate not, it. not very That's many cool. people, you know, unless they're friends with us, to actually come back on the show again. Yeah, it's the cowbell question. It is. It, it throws them. It throws them. It throws yeah. them way off. Yeah. Well, uh, coming up this weekend, <laughs> hey, is Shanker playing a cowbell? Are we going to be in the cowbell and the shaker? There's a series. I never even ask him about it yeah. because there's hardly, I don't think any songs have cowbell. I think he's, I, I'd think probably. he's anti-cowbell? From Germany, maybe. He might be uh. totally anti-cowbell because, yeah, there's not any songs that I can okay. recognize that had cowbell in it. All right. So Saturday night, we're going down to Chicago. We're going to see Michael Schenker. Uh We need to take some business cards. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, some sticks. Some sticks? Big sticks like, uh. Yeah, drumsticks. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and just we're going to walk up and we're going to act like we're in the band. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right? Yeah. I just throw a guitar, a grab a guitar case. We'll take that one. Just take an empty guitar case. We'll just take that one with hey, us. Hey, I got Michael. I fit, just set his guitar up, man. Yeah. yeah. Here, I got to take hey, this Hey, see if this will work for Michael, will you, please? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Take a couple flying V's here. All right, so we'll have we'll have the adventures of Red and Jerry. It'll be kind of like Bill and Ted. Uh, next week we'll <laughs> but find. But it won't be an accident. Yeah. If we're here yeah. next week, you'll know that we either got to meet Michael Schenker, didn't get to meet Michael Schenker, or if we're not here, we went to jail. Yeah, that probably that could be. That could happen. Yeah. All right, and then uh, because we wouldn't we wouldn't take not meeting Michael yeah, Schenker. We didn't take it very well. No, no, because no. they didn't know who we were. Yeah, because we'll probably be drunk off our asses. Because we, we yeah, like yeah, to do you're that. a huge drinker. We like to do that. Yep. So uh, as once again, uh, we're going to get out of here. We've got a big show coming up with Blackstone Cherry uh, May first down in Rockford. Yeah. And uh, as we always say on this show, don't drink and drive. Smoke and fly. There you go, brother. Here's uh, Blackstone Cherry. This is Peace Pipe. What a ba- hey. what a great way to end this show. I got a Peace Pipe right here, man. Awesome. Yeah. Fire this up. Let's fire up on Rock and Metal Revival. What's up, y'all? This is Ben from Blackstone Cherry. Thank you all for listening to Rock and Metal Revival.
brings to an end another edition of Rock and Metal Revival. If you enjoyed it, tell a friend. If you didn't, tell two. Until next time, this is Rock and Metal Revival. Fuck you guys, I want to get out of here.